What is up guys, it's Shyman here, and today we're gonna talk about this new budget mechanical keyboard from Rack Gears. Rack has released a couple of interesting budget keyboards, particularly the Keymat and Keymat XT. This is one of the newest keyboards on their lineup, and this is the Keymat XT Lite Edition. I got mine from Lazada, and because I have 8% off voucher, I got it for only 1,849 pesos, but they're selling it for 2,010 pesos. Pero mas the best talaga kung bibili ka sa physical store, kung ikaw ay nakatira outside Metro Manila or walang easy PC sa lugar niyo. I highly suggest sa Lazada ka na bumili, ang rack mismo ang nagsuggest sa akin kasi mas convenient daw for me. I will leave the links in the description if you want to check it out. You can message me also on Facebook for voucher. Opening the box, we got the keyboard itself. And that's it. No keycap puller, no user manual included, in which I think both are necessary. This keyboard is plug and play ready. But if you want to get into all of the features, you'll want to download the latest rack fine tuner software. Also with this software, it is easier and faster to set your own custom lighting profiles. You can find the product information and user manual on their website or just continue watching this video so you won't be needing to. So here's the keyboard itself. It is a full-size keyboard with 104 keys, so it does have a number pad on the side. The design is conventional with rounded rectangular shape. The build quality is great and with a thick aluminum plate, there is no flex to it. There's a chamfer around the black plate and a nice smooth finish on the aluminum. And there is their new logo. It looks so much better and it is engraved above the arrow keys. The keycaps are ABS double shot keycaps. They're pretty thin, which is fine for the price, I guess. They also changed the font style on this keyboard. It is very simple and looks elegant. I am happy that they didn't go with a not-so-great gamery font. Turning the board over, there are 4 rubber pads for non-slip and 2 feet which are also rubber tip. However, there is a noticeable slip when using the 2 feet. Behind is a non-detachable USB cable, which is unfortunate since the Kimet XT did have one. It is braided and placed in the right side of the keyboard. It features Atomo Blue switches. This is the only keyboard on their lineup that uses Atomo switches. Their other three keyboard uses Gatoron switches, which is arguably the best Cherry MX clone switch. There are clones of Cherry MX Blues but a tad bit heavier and clickier. Blue switches has this familiar tactile feel and a loud click on activation. And here is a quick sound test. Rack Fine Tuner software is very user-friendly, and the UI is simple and very straightforward. You can download the software in the description box. There is onboard memory on this. You can save up to three user profiles. You can program any key or just assign a key as dedicated multimedia keys. Down here is where you record new macros or import your old macros. These keyboard features and key rollover and 100% anti-ghosting so you never have to worry about pressing too many keys at once. 
all those keystrokes will be registered with no problem. The standout feature of this keyboard is the LED. I find this to be an awesome inclusion for the price. It is capable of true RGB, 16.8 million colors. There are 14 different lighting modes to choose from. FN and insert to cycle through the 13 effects straight from the keyboard. FN and delete to change the color of the effect. We can change the speed with FN and left and right arrow key. And FN and up and down arrow key for the brightness level. Retro Snake, Neon Stream, Reaction, Sine Wave, Fixed On, Respire, Rainbow, Flash Away, Raindrops, Rainbow Wheel, Ripples Shining. Stars Twinkle Shadow Despair The 14th effect is the game mode. There are 5 game mode presets in total. To make a custom lighting effect, you need to select game mode first and then press Fn and home key. Press Fn and Home key again to save the effects. Rack Fine Tuner is versatile when it comes to controlling the RGB. You can choose any custom color. Right off the bat, you can also change the lighting modes of your keyboard just by selecting one of these presets. If you want to know how to customize the lighting modes using Rack Fine Tuner, watch the video overview here. So, I'm really impressed with this keyboard. For a Filipino brand board, this is definitely one of the best budget keyboards and it is even better than a few of over 2K mechanical keyboards in the market. The build quality is pretty good and it is capable of true RGB lights and it is very vibrant. The Atomo switches is fine. They are not as great as Gatoron switches, the one that they have been using. The software is very simple and easy to use. I really like the font style. I think everybody would love to see a TKL version of this keyboard and hopefully they will have other switch options like brown and red in the near future. If you guys want to check this awesome keyboard, I will leave the links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this review and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe just for fun. Till next time, God bless.